and we are excited to introduce you to Binets, a new web series featuring cutting-edge professional interaction with a priceless stakeholder. Presiding over this session, we have two guest editors. Architect Sanjay Puri of Sanjay Puri Architects Mumbai and Architect Nandini Somaya Sambat of Somaya and Kalappa Consultants very Mumbai. Very briefly and between two professionals. The most important period of the person's uh, professional or personal life. And this is the rendering that we presented to our clients. So I chose something which is very special to uh, Chennai. As you saw, experience in the northeast almost rising up to the clouds. It's a kind of a newer part of the company. Architect Sanjay Puri's evolving design solutions revolutionized the way spaces are experienced. Winner of over 100 national and 150 international awards, the architect's contribution to the field has been immense. His diverse portfolio is a testament to his pension for innovative, contextual and sustainable solutions which lend themselves to experiential yet functional spaces. Vinyans is a very interesting way to present a project very briefly and between two professionals. So that's what makes it exciting because a lot of times uh, there are people who are not from the field who are interviewing people from the field. So the kind of questions that one really should be asked about the design are sometimes not asked. So in this case, you know, it, it will make it really interesting. These brief conversations between two professionals from different fields or different kinds of work. I think it's going to be very exciting in the future. And this uh, first, you know, series will show us how it's going to be. Our next speaker is Virginia Lung. She's the co-founder of the OnePlus Partnership in Hong Kong. A trailblazer in conceiving stunning visual and thematic spaces, OnePlus unique projects give form to the unusual. In the past 15 years, the firm has been a recipient of 660 Global Design Awards, and the creative reputation stems from breakthrough compositions, never seen before elements, and immersive, ex and immersive experiences. Hi, everybody. Uh, thank you, India Arts, for inviting me to join this event. Um, I'm going to um, talk about this uh, project in Panlong, China. So um, it is a, a cinema project. Uh, it's not big. It's about 4,000 uh, square meter, and there are nine houses in there. Uh, when we started uh, the project, uh, we talk to our client. We find out that uh, this company is very special. It actually has the first multiplex movie theater in that area. And also it is the first distributor in that area. So we think uh, the theme this time for the design must be something go with uh, movie itself. So, um, so we thought about using projection as the theme. So projection, like what you can see from uh, the screen, is like uh, how uh, images are projecting from one small hole to become a big, big uh, image on the screen. So it creates this kind of pyramid form. And we have used this pyramid form to design our space. So uh, in most of our uh, interior design, we use at on um, method like adding on uh, decoration on the space but this time we use uh, another skill which is subtracting i'm talking about subtracting space so which is like the the image that you can see on the left uh originally we have a, a, a rectangular space and then we are subtracting pyramid form from it and then we become uh we have a space like what uh, you can see from the right side and then uh, but it is not uh, a very easy thing to do because from this plan you can see uh, all the uh, red areas are functional space like a uh, box office conception cafe sitting area and the gray areas are actually transitional areas like hallway um which is a uh, uh, a place that hundreds and thousand people has to go uh, pass by every day so we have to take care of like safety issue and practical issue. Um, so um, from this one, it is a, a diagram showing in this space, actually we have been subtracting 33 pyramids from this space. 
So uh, it is a very uh, complex and uh, difficult project for us. Uh, we have built uh, 3D models and uh, we need to study uh, the heights of uh, counters, headroom, uh, safety clearance uh, of hallway, um, safety heights for children and like handicapped people. So we end up uh, 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 subtracting thir 33 negative volumes, which is like what you have, what you can see from the screen right now. And this is another picture showing uh, it in a solid form. And this is the rendering that we presented to our clients, uh, showing where uh, the construction area is. And you can see there is a, a big LED screen there for a plane trailer and a sitting plants. Um, so this is the box office. Uh, in this design, we try to uh, conceal the aircon louvers and we use uh, we, we create slots like here um, to hide the louvers and um, but in some cases we need to uh, have some flat spaces for accom accommodate sprinklers. Mm -hmm. So this is the construction area. You can see uh, actually we use a lot of cement board on the ceiling and, and wall. And in order to have some human touch, we make scratches on it. Uh, we actually have to produce a sample of how we want the scratches to look like uh, for the contractor to follow. And uh, we on, on the floor, we use a lot of uh, granite, which is a more economical way to um, do our floor because this project is in a very tight budget, which is less than half as a normal project. So, um, so uh, you can see that uh, the material is very simple. As I said, it's cement board and then uh, it's granite on the floor. And uh, this slide, uh, you can see uh, the light, uh, how we do the light. We use minimum amount of lights and we try to conceal them in like light trowel. And um, in some cases, we are using flat light on the column uh, here. And I think the outcome is uh, pretty dramatic and uh, it attracts a lot of people uh, to stay there. And then um, on the wall, you can see that uh, uh, we have put the cement board in different directions uh, to uh, give, a, give, them, give some detail on it. And on this slide, you can see how the light is shining down uh, from above and hitting the forms. And uh, but it is not easy to do this because um, uh, we actually uh, adjust a lot because uh, there are lots of site situations the, that we have to take take care of. And all the forms are interlocking. So uh, when when there's something happening in the site, that we need to adjust the model and we need to adjust thirty three of them. And um, so this is how we hide our light source. You can see here, it's hidden there. And this is another perspective showing the cafe and waiting area, which is actually 99% um, bring it to become reality. This is the actual picture, but in a different angle. And then we have uh, used some steel structure to hold the forms, which is like here to hold the seats. And then on the uh, cafe countertop, we have used Korean. So uh, it's a solid surfacing. So it's very durable and also it look, look cool. And then um, it go with the whole color scheme. And uh, from this picture, you can see uh, the form of the furniture is also matching the interior. And this is another angle uh, showing uh, the cafe, which is a place that a lot of people uh, go together. You can see from here. 
and that's the hallway. This is the difficult part because um, uh, there, are, as I said, a lot of people uh, use this space. And then we, in, in our concept, in our uh, scheme, we have a lot of pointy corners. So we have to make sure those corners won't hurt people. And this is a resting area. Uh, from picture, you might not know, but we have add pads on this seating to make it more comfortable. And all the signage are also designed by us. Okay, so uh, we have also used, uh, add some uh, details on the wall. You can see a lot of blues there. And in the auditorium, this is the perspective. And uh, because on the auditorium, we cannot use a uh, lot of space on the wall. Uh, I mean, we cannot have a lot of that because we have to take care of the projection line. So um, you can, but still, we have some relief there having the um, same concept bring into our auditorium. And we have highlighted the forms using all these LED lights. And all these are acoustic panels. And we have even designed the carpet. And this is the design of another auditorium. And uh, as you can see, we have special uh, pattern on the floor also. And we also have the projection theme, uh, but in a more like 2D form in this uh, theater, I mean, this uh, auditorium. So this is the uh, carpet design on this uh, auditorium. So that's the end of my presentation. Thank you. Hi, Virginia. Hi. So I've been seeing your work actually at the World Architecture Festival as well as the Plan Awards in uh, Venice. Oh, Very, okay. Yeah, so in fact, I was uh, the Thank one you. who suggested uh, that we bring you on for this, these, uh, you know, the inaugural vignettes. To oh, Savita, oh, oh. And she agreed. And oh. you're really interesting, you know, it, it's so sculptural and it's so, so it's, uh, you know, people say minimal to a certain style. So this is minimal in the way that you just use a singular material oh. and the space becomes sculptural. Oh. It's really interesting. Thank you. Yeah, I don't know what to ask you actually, because uh, each one of your projects has this very interesting sculptural quality and they are yet radically different from each other and really, really different from most of the other kind of, you know, the decorative kind of interiors that you see happening in multiplexes in most mm. of the world. Mm. So it's uh, very interesting. What are you working on now? Is there something new? Like this one was done in all concrete, right? Most uh, of the this, this project is in China, is in Penlong. And then uh, actually we are doing uh, cinema projects in Dubai also. We are doing yeah. some retail projects. Uh, we are doing some uh, very uh, interesting uh, they call it experience shop, experience shop uh, for the brand, which is a jewelry group. Uh, and we have a, a theme and then they want us to apply this theme into uh, different shops for them. And then because this uh, group is so big and then uh, they have shops in different cities and uh, they want us to um, modify a bit for each city. So uh, for each shop, they kind of look, uh, the theme is the same, but uh, we need to add in some local elements into it. So, uh, which is a pretty interesting project, uh, is th which is the same design, but you need to uh, add in some spice to uh, each project. I think it's, uh, uh, it's very challenging also, but um, the outcome is uh, very um, attractive to us, I think. 